on the 12th of uh, May this year, uh, this month, uh, to this year, I managed to write a letter to the prosecutor of the International Criminal, uh, Criminal Court, uh, notifying the prosecutor of the atrocities that border on genocide that have been perpetrated uh, at Shakahola area, um, that is Shakahola forest within the Republic of Kenya. Um, my decision to write to the uh, ICC prosecutor was informed by the fact that Kenya is a signatory to the Rome Statute. And um, Kenya ratified the Rome Statute um, in the year 2005, and uh, it came into force. And therefore, any atrocities, uh, crimes against humanity uh, that have been committed at Shakahola, and specifically uh, genocide, falls within uh, the jurisdiction of the ICC prosecutor, that is the International Criminal Court. And that is what informed my decision to write to the, pro uh, to the prosecutor, to invite the prosecutor to immediately investigate the atrocities that have been committed at Shakahola Forest with a view of, um, with a view of um, taking action against the perpetrators of these atrocities. Uh, you've, you've mentioned the, or asked why you think that I do not have faith in the justice system in this country. Now that is not the point. It is not that I do not have uh, justice in the, I mean, uh, faith with the justice system. Um, the initiative to write to the ICC prosecutor just complements uh, the work that is being done uh, by the investigative agencies uh, that has already been done. However, the only issue that I have is uh, with the formation of the commissions of inquiry. Uh, it is in public domain that there have been several commissions of inquiries that have been formed in the past. I don't need to name them. And we all know what happened with the findings and the recommendations of those commissions. They are gathering dust somewhere in some public offices. No action has been taken. Uh, the recommendations and the findings were very good of most of the commissions. And, uh, but you will agree with me that uh, no action has ever been taken. Uh, the, the reports have never been acted upon. And it, um, I was apprehensive that the same thing may happen with the Shakahola uh, forest massacre. Um, the, we have re a judicial commission that has been put in place by the government. At the same time, we are having a Senate committee that is investigating the same. Over and above the work that is being done by the DCI and, uh, and a multi-agency uh, uh, team that is also working on the same. The problem with that is that um, the findings could end up subverting justice because, as you already know, we have uh, suspects that have been uh, arraigned in court and uh, criminal proceedings are already in place. And uh, what would happen if we are to get conflicting reports from the various uh, committees and uh, commissions and task forces that are working on the same thing? Uh, it will end up being a piece of cake for the defense team that is representing uh, those suspects. So that is basically that what informed my decision to invite uh, the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court to investigate the atrocities of uh, the Chakahola Forest. And uh, finally, um, yes, I uh, also want, wish to uh, bring to, uh, I also wanted to emphasize uh, on the fact that um, the ICC, the International Criminal Court, has been known to be quite active in African countries. And you can remember the examples of the 2007 and the 2008 uh, post-election violence. Now, this is a litmus test because suspicion has been raised on the ICC that they only get involved in African countries when uh, atrocities have been committed as a result of politically instigated violence, like the one that we witnessed in 2007 and 2008. This one is a totally different situation. These are atrocities not necessarily committed by the government, but an individual. And remember that the Rome Statute, uh, the jurisdiction of the Rome Statute extends to individuals, crimes that have been committed by individuals, uh, whether political or not. So it will be very uh, important to see whether uh, the, the ICC would be keen to investigate the atrocities that have been committed by indi an individual on this level.